Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to feature a new for 2019 Presage dress watch. This is the SRPD07. This is a really interesting dress piece that has a lot of nice details. Uh, I really wasn't, uh, I don't know, really wasn't a fan when I first saw pictures of it. But when I unboxed it and I put it on wrist, there is something, there's something special about this one. This one has got uh, just surprisingly nice feel in person details and it's been really enjoyable to borrow. This one is come from Mimo's Jewelry. They're a Seiko authorized dealer in Southern California. I am borrowing this for a review. You can see it still has, you know, all the stickers and tags on it and stuff. So I want to share it with you guys. I'll put some dimensions here on the side of the screen so you guys can see how this wears. Now, because it is a rectangular piece or a tonu shaped case, it will wear a little bit larger than its dimensions. So, you know, you see 37, you might think, oh, that's just a lady's watch. I can't deal with that. Uh, not so. It, it definitely has a good feel on wrist. Now, my wrists are 7.25 inches in circumference, and I find it not too big, not too small. And the height is, is pretty decent as well, coming in at 12 millimeters in height. Now, this wrist shot, I'm showing it to you on my Stabe mesh, which, I don't know, I thought the, uh, the, the polished parts of the stave kind of tied in real well with that texture dial but the watch does come on this calf leather strap from seiko which you can see a signed metallic uh, deployant buckle here which is nice to see from them if we look at the back of the watch you can see a uh, bolt in case back with a hardlex display back showing the gold tone rotor on the in-house 4r35 movement i think that looks really nice now the star of the show is definitely going to be this texturized dial you can see a herringbone or chevron uh, look to most of those linear lines they're very deep and uh, defined and then in between the lines of herringbone you can see uh, square inlays there so it has a nice look and i think contrasts well with the white romans and just the overall look is i don't know it's a lot of fun one detail that I really like are the small dot metal appliques on every hour. You can see they catch light really well. And if I could improve anything about this watch just subjectively, I think it would be really cool if Seiko took a leaf out of Patek Philippe's book and put those metal appliques on every single index. You can see white dots that are printed uh, representing every minute, but imagine how cool this would be if all of those were applied metal. That would be, that would be really cool. So we have a date at the six o'clock position. It's kind of cutting into that six Roman numeral. You've got a white printed frame and the date is blacked out to match the dial. So the overall look I think is very classy, very sharp. There is a sapphire crystal here that is dual curved. I don't believe there's any anti-reflective treatment um, I mean, when I get it in the right light, it almost looks like there is on the underside, but uh, I couldn't find any definitive information online. Uh, you can get some distortions and some pretty strong reflections on this. I think just adding to the, uh, the visual light play and pop in person, you can see a Seiko signed crown here. Uh, it is not screw down. It is a push pull crown. And, uh, unlike other Prasaz watches, this one, offers 50 meters of water resistance as opposed to 100, which is kind of the norm with Seiko dress watches. But overall, I mean, this is a really fun piece. This was surprisingly sharp and enjoyable in person. I like the applied Seiko badge. I like the finishing here, the brushed and the polished, the steps to the bezel, uh, that, <laughs> that curved sapphire crystal with the texturized dial. This has definitely been a fun one. So big thank you to Mimo at Mimo's Jewelry for just lending this in and letting me spend a little bit of time. Check it out, share it with you guys. If anyone is interested, there is a link in the description to the website. Now the retail price is $625. That's full retail price at an authorized dealer, but Mimo offers a discount code of 20% off if you're interested. And that is SEIK20, S-E-I-K 20. And you're welcome to use that and get a discount. If you guys are interested so let me know if you have any questions i appreciate you taking the time to watch and i'll see you in the next video